Teachers, what is the worst thing a student has ever done to a teacher in your school? I had a student threaten to shoot me in the middle of class. He's in prison now. For shooting someone. Edit, a little backstory, the kid didn't actually pull a gun on me in class, but he told me that I was gonna get the Tech 9. I don't think he thought I'd know what that meant. Fast forward two years, the kid is involved in a drug deal, as a seller, and it occurs to him that if he simply kills the customer after he's made the transaction, he gets the money and the drugs back, you know, GTA style. So the deal goes down and afterward my former student empties about 6 rounds into the guy's torso. As they're walking away, an accomplice tells him that he should go back and put one in the guy's head just to make sure he's dead. Former student says, nah, did you see how many I put into him? He's dead. They leave, and very recently shot guy drags his porous mass over to a payphone and puts former student into the police, and ultimately lives. You really dodged a bullet there. The only thing I can remember is some kid putting LSD in the teacher's coffee. The dude knew it pretty quickly, went to the administrator and said, Hey, you are going to need to have someone cover my class. I think a student put acid in my coffee. I'm going to go home, trip, and deal with this issue tomorrow. That kid got expelled in jail time. I wish I could remember his name, but it was from a class two years before me. At least he got some free LSD out of the deal. I'm glad he knew what was going on and how to handle himself. If he hadn't, the situation could have been terrible. When I was 15, my high school Spanish class was taught by a pregnant lady. When she was a few weeks off her maternity leave, a fight broke out in her classroom and she, perhaps pretty stupidly, went over and tried to break it up. She ended up getting full on punched in the stomach by one of the students who swung at another student and missed, but instead of apologizing, he laughed and told her she shouldn't have got in the way. She was okay though. Took the rest of the week off. Baby was fine thankfully. This situation happened when I was in high school. She wasn't as pregnant but did end up getting kicked in the stomach by one of the combatants. Thing was, he did it to her on purpose. I have never seen so many of the punk style kids jump in and beat on one kid so bad. It was kinda weird. All those kids you think couldn't give to shirts about the world are the ones who ran to her aid, and all the good jocks just stood around and laughed. I'm not a teacher, but I witnessed it. During the 7th grade I had a biology teacher named Mr. Stark, yeah, who was a really great, funny guy. Everyone in class respected and liked him. He'd crack jokes about his wife being a horrible gorilla and just generally had a sarcastic, mass whole sense of humor. In the middle of the year, he abruptly disappeared. I only gathered hearsay, but from what I heard around campus, he had a nervous breakdown and was fired. Of course, this was a campus of 12 to 14 year olds, so we gotta take that with a grain of salt. A mousy older woman appeared as a long term substitute after that. No one had ever had her as a sub before and she was very frail and soft spoken. For the rest of that year, the class terrorized her. No one ever did any work. During the class, kids would go into the storage closet, it was a lab classroom, and play with, break, the beakers and chemistry sets. There were fish tanks with algae and anemone ecosystem type things, and at one point, a kid knocked one over. People were loud and wild the entire class period, running around the classroom, literally jumping up on tables, and it was just impossible for her to teach and for anyone to learn in that environment. We literally got nothing done that entire time. It was basically free time drawer and listen to your CD player hour, because while I didn't want to add to the problem, she just didn't do lectures or assign homework. Not only that, but the kids teased her relentlessly. They made fun of her because she was balding, because she had a slight tremble, and would regularly tell her to shut the duck up or call her a bish. It was heartbreaking. I guess one day she was reprimanded by the upper office staff, because she started putting her fist down a little bit. But if she raised her voice, the class got louder. If she assigned home class walk, only I and maybe three other people did it. One day she snapped. She started screaming. I mean literally screaming. Not yelling but actually screaming as if someone was killing her, and threw her lecture notes across the room. The class finally got quiet. 
All she did was sink down to the floor and start crying. I don't think anyone knew what to do. We just watched her sob for a few minutes before someone finally left to grab another teacher. The remainder of the class period was supervised by a security guard, and none of us spoke for the rest of the hour. None of us spoke about her. Even after she was replaced by a PE teacher, they figured they'd pull in someone we knew and respected, and the class went on, no one ever talked about her ever again. It was like everyone was ashamed about what we'd done to this poor innocent woman. If I were in her position, I would never teach again. TLDR Middle schoolers can be absolute monsters. My mom used to teach third grade. One year she had a student with some sort of special needs that required him to have a personal mind or assistant whatever you call it come to class with him to help him out. One day for whatever reason this kid goes completely bad shirt, picks up his desk, and smashes his mind or assistant person in the head with it. This lady is now unconscious and bleeding on the floor, and the kid is running like hell off campus into the adjoining neighborhood. At this point my mom has to either a, leave 30 other kids unsupervised along with one adult, who is out cold and bleeding from a head wound to chase this little ducker. Or b, allow a 9 year old with special needs to disappear into the sunset. She decided to stay with her class and call the office for help. Fortunately the police found the kid who had run off before anything could happen to him. Paramedics came and took the injured woman to the hospital. I thought my mom handled things pretty well. The parents of the student who caused the problem did not. In fact they filed a civil suit against my mom for endangering their precious little boy. Of course the school administration did nothing to back her up. Fortunately she managed to keep her job and not get donked over in court, but it was close. I was subbing in an elective class. The kids at this school did not take electives seriously as they could flunk them but pass on to the next year. The class of students came in with the attitude of let's play with the sub. Usually I can handle this with the age old game of names on the board for the teacher to see the next day. These kids didn't care. One girl got up and wrote her own name on the board. As I was passing back some work that needed to be reviewed a girl, call her Lisa, said hey, you hit me. I had grazed my hand across the Lisa's arm as I put the paper on her desk. Lisa quickly said who saw her hit me, and all the kids raised their hand. Then Lisa went into a speech about how last year they got a teacher fired by saying the teacher had touched them. Another girl, call her Buffy, chirps in with how the teacher was completely shocked, when Buffy also testified the teacher had touched her. Buffy said the teacher was shocked that Buffy would lie about the teacher as the teacher used to give up her lunch to tutor Buffy. Lisa said yeah the funny thing is we lied. I told Lisa to please go to the office right now and file an incident report about me hitting her. Lisa said sure and walked out. I was having an anxiety attack but kept it together. At the end of my day, I went to the office and asked if Lisa had filled a report. The secretary said no she didn't, and when the secretary asked why she was there Lisa said the sub said to go to the office. The secretary had just left Lisa there till the period ended then asked the girl to leave. I wrote a report about what the kids had said about getting a teacher fired the year before. As I wrote it, I told the secretary about the incident. The secretary said the teacher had not been fired but moved to another school. That was the last time I accepted a sub job at that school. I grew up in a small town in Kansas where everyone knew everyone's business. In 6th grade several of my classmates, who happened to be boys, went over to our music teacher's house and spied on her through her windows. Again, at her house, in her private time, she was single by the way, and probably about 27, they saw her having ex with a guy, went and told their parents who then went to the school board and had her fired. For having ex. In her own house. In her private time. Not at all related to school. That was the worst. I really loved her. She was a fantastic teacher. I'd press charges. The Ask the Virgin. When I was in 4th grade, a friend of mine learned of the word virgin. He didn't know what it meant per se, but anyway, we were having an English test one day, and in the middle of the most awkward silence ever he addressed the teacher, Are you a virgin? Awkward just became super awkward. After about 30 seconds of the most intense awkwardness I have ever felt, the teacher silently said, yes. I'm gonna burn you miss, 
I'm gonna make you cry. I don't have to do what you say, bitch. If you don't get out of my way miss, I'm gonna punch you in the face. And it's only my first year, but I love them anyway. That's what it's like in urban schools. Pardon me miss, I'm gonna kill everything you love. There's something horrifying about them politely calling you miss while threatening you.